つこー What is up my fellow viewers? This is Skeke the Otaku and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna stay away from reviews and recommendations and jump to a more different topic per se. And that is sub versus dubbed in anime debate. Which one is better? Now, like my previous videos, I'll be presenting some general thoughts about both the subbed and dubbed anime, discussing some good and bad aspects from each version, and finish off by giving you my general opinion. So, subbed versus dubbed. Yeah. It is quite a controversial topic sometimes because I've seen people going berserk on certain platforms when it comes to defend their favorite version. But at the same time, it comes down to a matter of taste. If you go from a pure analytical point of view, each version has its own pros and cons. As a fellow Portuguese guy, I remember watching some classic anime that aired on TV, like Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, uh, Rurouni Kenshin, and I used to watch it all in my mother tongue, and so uh, back then it sounded really natural that I didn't really question the authenticity of the dub versions. For example, even though the Portuguese version, especially for Dragon Ball, is known for having a special way of dubbing anime, it really differs from the translations you would see in the sub version. By the way, you should totally watch this video from Masako X about Dragon Ball dubbed versions, where he explains the peculiar way of the Portuguese dubbed version uh, of Dragon Ball, in order to get a better understanding of the point I'm trying to make here. Quite often you will find that the dubbed version can really differ from the sub version, from the lines all the way to the difference in the voice character tone in many situations. If we go a bit deeper, the effects of a dubbed version can bring a different perspective about the characters and the story if you watch it in the sub version. Back in the 90s and also in the early 2000s, it was very hard to get our hands in sub anime versions because, you know, most anime would air on TV, they would be dubbed for obvious reasons, hence the fact why many people would prefer the dub over the sub version. Even when sub anime become accessible with the internet, because it is made in your own mother tongue, so that you don't need to read the lines appearing on the bottom of your screen every 5 seconds, and it helps you understand the story because you absorb the information faster. The same thing can be said for movies and other types of shows. Also, watching dub anime brings a lot of nostalgia. Many voice actors come back to many different anime and people find it great recognizing their favorite dub voice actor taking another role and see how it plays out. For that reason, the perspective one has about the story and the characters may differ from one version to the other. The lack of authenticity we see from the dubbed to the subbed is an important factor to this argument. Sometimes voice actors' tone and lines are, are adapted to the language that is being translated, which can take away the context and meaning, hence the difference on how we perceive the character. Another important aspect I personally notice, more often than not, is the clear desync of the voiceover and the character's mouth movements. I mean, sometimes we can also notice a clear change of the sound quality on the background music, for example, which is a deteriorating factor to the anime. When it comes to the subversion, eh, many say it is destined to the hardcore fans, which is completely false. I know people that are crazy fans of anime, but they simply prefer to watch the dub for some of the reasons I just mentioned. However, this stigma is pretty much present in the community, hence the word elitists. We can hear every now and then. Even though I disagree with this statement, there are some positive arguments for watching sub anime. The sub allows for an accurate translation of the original content, whether it be the plot or the characters. In other words, uh, the sub gives you the best version of the character's traits and personalities, making the nuances or sentences pretty much hard to miss while translating. The same can be said about cultural references that you cannot miss, like the character's social status that is well described in the sub, you know, the kun, san or sama suffix after the name of each character. When it comes to jokes, most of it is pretty much non-existent in the dub version, while in the sub it is usually explained to the viewer via notes that the translators provide so that we can understand the context and learn some cultural references. Even the quality of the voicing 
is in most cases better in the sub because the story and the characters are made to be voiced by Japanese. They're usually better at taking the role, for example, of an overexpressive character, whereas the dub voice actors sometimes struggle to provide such authenticity and adaptation. Of course, there are always exceptions to this tape. One example would be the infamous American voice actor Sean Shamble or Christopher Sabat that are very well known for voicing Goku and Vegeta respectively in the Dragon Ball franchise. Another thing that needs to be pointed out is the censoring of words and even certain scenes and god, how much this annoys me sometimes. A great example is the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise with four kids. I remember back when I first saw the sub there were a lot of moments that would differ from the dub. Many situations where the show would display a certain level of nudity or some racial or violent scenes that were totally deleted or even modified. I mean, I understand that most of these shows are meant for the younger audiences, but still, I think it wasn't justified to entirely change them to a point where it could change the actual context of what was going on. Now here comes the question. Which version is better? Of course, it comes down to each person's taste. There is no right or wrong version. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and to their own taste. However, what I could say is, if you want to have the best authenticity and you don't mind reading that string of words, then by all means, I cannot recommend the sub version enough. If you just want to relax and still enjoy one of your favorite shows without being distracted by the lines and focus on the scenes, then go for the dub. Well, personally, I always watch the sub version, no matter what. I want to have the most accurate experience about the plot and the characters and judge the anime from the way it was meant to be. Of course, the differences between the writing materials and the anime adaptation is a topic that needs to be addressed, therefore I'll leave it for another video. But yeah, I love my sub anime and no one can change my mind, boy. Anyways, that will be all for today, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me your opinion in the comments below about the version you prefer and why. I really would like to know which version you guys like the most. Uh, by the way, I'm really sorry for not posting anything lately, I've been busy with college as a recording of this video, but I'll promise I'll, I'm working on something that takes a lot of time to make and I hope you guys enjoy it once I post it and stay tuned for more reviews that will come out soon. But yeah, don't forget to watch your daily dose of anime because it's good for your brain and heart. Take care and I'll see y'all in the next video.